Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jibber Jabber. On um, today's episode, I'm doing a tag again. Um, this one is called 15 Weird Questions. Now, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> my nephew <coughs> did this, Jan, and if you haven't subscribed to his channel, do it. Jan was not here. Um, so I thought it was fun. So what the heck? I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions. So let's go ahead. Number one, numero uno. What's a nickname only your family calls you? All right. So in real life, my name is Dan or Daniel. And, um, my dad's side of the family has kind of Macedonianized it and they've called me Dante. Um, and it kind of seeped into my mom's side of the family and friends and, yeah, so Donche. And it's not quite uncommon. Um, if your name is like Donna, they would call you Donache. Steve, Steve, Che. Like that. So that's the nickname I got. Number two. What's a weird habit of yours? Um, I, I, well, I'm sure people can point out weird habits of mine, but one I can think about is I don't like to start something I know I can't finish. Or I won't start it until I know I can finish it. Um, that's kind of weird on me. Like, uh, if I know I can do something and then I'll complete it, maybe the next day, then fine, I'll do it. But I like to, like, finish what I started. So that's a weird habit of mine. Um, do you have any phobias is number three. I can't really say I have any phobias. I'm like, I'm not afraid of heights or not afraid of, like other tasting other food or things like that um the one thing maybe i can think about is sometimes i think about um if you're like swimming and you're underwater and you're a little bit too deep and you can't hold your breath that long hmm. so i guess that's a kind of a phobia yeah number four is what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out while you're alone well, I love a lot of songs. I really do. And I love music. But my guilty pleasure would probably have to be belting out Depeche Mode, Erasure, and Culture Club songs. And mostly in the shower, usually. So that's that's my uh, songs. Number five, Cinco. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? I'm going to change that to what's one of your threeest... Threeest? What's three of your biggest pet peeves? Um, number one is um, ignoring. And I don't mean like, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. I mean like if you invite someone over and you don't hear from them or you are texting someone and you don't hear back or you're having a conversation with someone and they're like kind of like not hearing you. Uh, I, I, I really hate that. Number two would probably have to be people who eat on public transit. Now, I can understand, like, maybe a bagel or, or, or a donut or uh, maybe a small sandwich. But the other day, my friend was telling me she saw someone eating corn on the cob. Like, really? And I've seen a guy eating a whole rack of ribs. Like, eh, people, eat at home. That's gross. And he was like, there's no need, okay? I hate that. And my third biggest pet peeve is people who walk down the street like this with their mobile. They don't see you. They're going to bump into you. Or they're like this. Yeah, yeah, okay, George. Yeah, I'll see you there. No problem. Yeah. Like, do we need to hear your conversation? Get real. Come on. So those are my three biggest pet peeves. Number six. What's one of your nervous habits? Um, I used to bite my nails. Not anymore. Um, but I guess one of my nervous habits would be sometimes I shake my knee. Or I'll do like this. Or do this. Or, you know, do this. So it's just a nervous habit. And I, I'm actually conscious of it. I see myself doing it. Number seven is, lucky number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? The right side, all the time. Even when I'm in a hotel and there's two beds, I always pick the right side, or the right bed um, as well. Um, number eight is, 
What was your first stuffed animal and what was its name? <laughs> My first stuffed animal was really ugly, guys. <laughs> it was like a crossbreed between a monkey and a clown. And my dad won it for me um, at the CNE, which is the Canadian National Exhibition. And, um, well, I loved him, though. And he was kind of like a silver gray color. And he had huge ears. And they were, like, pink in the middle, really, really soft. Like, this really soft, I don't know what material it was. And I called him Bimbo. Because in Canada, there was a show here called Uncle Bobby. Maybe they played it in the States. And, like, Bimbo the birthday clown would, like drop down and it was kind of scary and he'd sing this like really weird song like oh it was really weird but you know what hmm. what would happen to bimbo probably wore him out who knows number nine guys is what's the drink you always order at starbucks um that's an easy one i don't because i don't like starbucks i'm sorry sorry starbucks but i'm from and I uh, prefer Tim Hortons or our Canadian coffee shops here. I just think your coffee is overrated, and I just want a coffee. I don't want to hear grande, frappe, blah, 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 whatever. Just give me a coffee, okay? All right. Uh, number 10, this. What's the first thing I see in a person? Now, what's the first thing I see or the first thing I notice? The question is, first thing I see. So I'm going to go with maybe people who BS. I kind of, and I know it's bad, but sometimes I judge people right away. And I'm like, mm, I don't like them. Um, and twice, on two occasions, I've been proven wrong. You know, me and the person have, like, butt heads, but then later we've been, like, got together. But usually I can tell when someone is full of, you know what, and the rest is toilet paper. So that's what I, I notice in a person. Um, number 11, what side of the shower do you face? I don't know. This is a weird question. Some people face out. Some people face the wall. I face the nozzle. I think most of us do. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You do a tag and tell me. All right. Number 12 is what is a weird skill um, that I can do, that you can do? So, my nephew can also do this, and that is wiggling my ear, which is not. <laughs> there you go. You saw it. So, I can wiggle. My... Oh, and I can also do this. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people can't roll their tongue. All right. So, now you know that. Um, okay, number 13, lucky 13, is what's your favorite comfort food? That's bad for you, and you know it, but you like it anyway. Okay, guys, I'm a foodie. I love food, and I love a lot of comfort food, but the one I know that's bad for me and I go to all the time would probably be a Burger King Whopper. Uh, yeah. Oh, and on Wednesdays, only a buck ninety nine. <laughs> awesome. All right, number 14, we're almost done, is what's a phrase or explanation you always use? Now, for me, and I'm conscious about it again, is when I'm like exaggerating or trying to describe a number of something, it's always nine for some reason. So, for example, I'll be like, oh my God, it's nine million degrees out. Or I'd be like, holy cow, man, you had like 9,000 calls like that. Or in this case, I'd be like, what the hell, man? This is like 900 questions. <laughs> Number 15 is, and our last question, is it's now time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Hmm, none of your business. But I think uh, the real answer would probably be like most of you guys. Um, depends on the weather. Um, and also it depends on who you're with. Okay, guys, see you next time on Jibber Jabber. Peace out.